What are you guys doing? <laughs> She's showing me a video for, for Walk Like an Egyptian. She was dancing like an Egyptian, and I was like, there's a song for that. I said, there's even a dance. And so I had to bust out the bangles, and that's what we're doing. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here's the situation. The oldest is at Acro, which is dance. That little one is getting ready to go to sleep. And uh, it's pretty soon it's just going to be the wife and I until I have to pick up the oldest. Wake up. <laughs> I'm tired. Four o'clock comes early. So I'm sure uh, many of the viewers and subscribers are wondering where the Challenger TA is. I am going to be taking this beautiful beast back to the dealership I'm extremely extremely sad nothing to do with the dealership I will be going back to them when the time comes when I'm ready just it's just not it's not a good time unfortunately guys we had to make well i had to make the adult decision you point at me yeah you you <laughs> had to make the adult decision because I, you ultimately made the decision yeah i made a decision to get it i did not actually purchase the vehicle i did get the vehicle with the intent to purchase the vehicle i called around i got insurance rates and to keep the same coverages as our other vehicles unfortunately it would uh it would have cost a lot of money and we were also banking on the YouTube ad revenue believe it or not yep because we were making consistently for what I would say three months three hundred dollars a month yeah and that was enough to uh, offset the car payment to make it affordable so we can add it to the channel the week we picked up the car our ad revenue literally dropped a hundred and fifty dollars just like That's that insane. More than half. we had to make the adult decision and you know take the car back um, you know, it's very unfortunate, but it was the right decision for the family because we, we intend to move to a new house. We're, we're in the process of getting ready to buy a new house. You know what? I forgot to tell him. I was talking to our buddy uh, Todd, SRT Mush, if you guys haven't checked him out. I actually reached out to him before I even got the car to get his opinions and thoughts. And he basically said, if you're going to buy a car like that, um, you, you need to buy a Hellcat um, because they're bulletproof. We had always had said that we were going to do Hellcat, like that mm -hmm. was, that, that's our ultimate, that's kind of, you know, that, that was our goal. And I think you just got this little bit of an itch. And I'm not saying you jumped the gun by any stretch of the imagination, but I think you just kind of got all, got all smitty on me. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> surprised me with the car one day. Well, the nice thing is though, the Ram mods are going to continue. We're gonna continue collabing with the Jeep shop. We're also gonna film other uh, mods as well. Um, we're hoping to even get a subscriber that wants to lift their truck and we'll film the whole entire thing, the install um, from start to finish at the Jeep shop. Um, with special pricing, of course. I mean, I'm, we're not gonna cover all the costs. You're gonna to have to buy the lift and what have you, but we can work things out so to make it more affordable for you. And we'll film it and your truck will be famous on Ram Beast projects. We plan on doing other builds too, you know, there's there's other stuff going on, um, not so much, uh, there probably won't be a new car on the channel for a while, but uh, <laughs> once we get our house, things get settled, um, we have full plans of getting a Hellcat. But now we can continue saving for the house. Yep. We and continue doing our beach trips and going out and, you know, taking little trips here and there, which we're used to doing. We won't have to eat ramen noodle every day. Yeah. Uh, was, yeah. You did, yeah. I know it was sad for you. It was. It was tough driving that car back to the dealership. But it knowing needed to it be was done. A back. But yeah. It was, at this point in time. At this point in time, it was the smart thing to do. Could have um, done it. We're going to step back and treat this as more as a hobby, you know, than, well, no. I think I'm more of a hobbyist. Yeah. You were treating it more so I was. as I like... Was, a second job listen he's in law it's enforcement right and so a lot of police wives are single parents and you know they feel like they're doing a lot of you know the family living on their own because their husbands or were you know wives whatever 
do a lot of, you know, different shifts and, you know, Christmases might not be held on Christmas and, you know, holidays are celebrated on different days. I was a single parent due to Rampy's project. Sometimes I feel like <laughs> that. Like this past weekend, he did nothing but edit. You gotta, you gotta let them know. But I, I experienced all that early in my career. Well, not early. I mean, right, I didn't. I've been on. I've been in law enforcement for over 18 years. So, I up until four years ago, that was my life. You know. And when did I meet you? Four years ago. I know, when I know. you were established. So they don't, I didn't have they to. Don't, they don't know that, though. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> hi. I didn't have to go through that. Yeah, you're lucky. I did. I lived it. <laughs> no, I know. But I feel like sometimes I do it now because of editing. I do love it, though. I love it. I had a good time editing. What do you guys see? I had a good time sitting in front of that computer mm -hmm. for eight hours. Yeah, but it, it's going to come out so awesome. Wait till you see the video on Friday. He acts like he didn't show it to me four times. I showed it to her twice. He's twice. sitting like two feet from me. I heard the whole thing. I had headphones on for the oh, most I, part. Oh, I, I do make him wear headphones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't watch like Real Housewives with that ongoing stuff in the background. Yeah. Too. There's been a few videos with us featuring products from Headlight Revolution. And the one thing I like about those guys is that they'll they'll test all their products before they put it out on the market and sell it to the consumer. So they'll run it through the gamut before it's even for sale on their site. So it's already been tried and tested. Is that what it is? Tried and tested? Tried and tested. Tried, proven, and tested. <laughs> <laughs> or tried, tested, and prove it. I don't it know. It was tested. It was tested <laughs> before it comes before they you know release it to the consumers and they want to make sure it works with the vehicles. So I can't say enough about their products. You just know when you're buying it, it's gonna it's gonna function for you. It's gonna it's gonna do what they say it's gonna do. Right. It's not like getting the iPhone when it first comes out and you gotta like all those stupid bugs. Yeah, you gotta wait for the bugs. Yeah. You're like, no, I'm not gonna get the new iPhone yeah. yet because I gotta wait for the bugs to come out. Yep. You no bugs. They, they do all that. They work all the bugs out before it gets to you guys. So with that said, when we hit 5,000 subscribers, we are giving away either an HID low beam kit or an LED low beam kit. Ooh. We're giving that away to our subscriber. Only thing you got to do is subscribe to Rambeast Project's YouTube channel and follow our Instagram account and follow Headlight Revolution's Instagram account. That's but all before that, do. they I mean, they also have to share with their friends to subscribe so that we get to the 5,000. Yeah, make sure you share all of our content so it gets out Or if out you're there. watching and you watch all the time and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And I haven't forgot Cummins Farmer. No. What are we doing when we hit 5K? And them damn toe mirrors. Toe mirrors are going on the beast, guys. So that's that. So we the just beast will get something? And a when lucky it, subscriber will get something. Heck yeah, and that's what it's about. We'll even send some Ram Beast merch too, along with the 5,000 subscriber. Speaking of which, did our 3,000 subscriber ever reach out yet? No, he didn't. I think we'll give him until the next video is posted. And then I think we just go in and we will randomly pick a number from one to. to we'll just do a random pick. Yeah, we'll just, yeah, how many subscribers we yeah, have. And yeah. then that person will get what he would have won. But we want someone to get something. Yeah, so definitely. I think this weekend, by the time, or I think your next video is posted on Friday. Friday at 8 p.m. So, Friday at 8 p.m. or Saturday, we'll go ahead and we'll pick another random subscriber to get some treats. Okay. Hey, and we have a little unboxing. Let's go do the Wait, unboxing. Look at this one. Are you amazing? <laughs> See if I can do this one a little bit better. You're a loud dog. If you guys ever want to send us anything, our PO box is 270 Wagontown, Pennsylvania, 19376. It'll be up there too. What do we got here? Mm. Check this out. So what we have here, guys, is a vehicle specific safe. I'll be doing an install video on this in the near future. It's going so, in the Forerunner, right? No, this is this is built for the Beast's center console from locker down. Wow. Check that out. It's got a keypad. Wow, that thing's heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. heavy. Whoa! How much do you think that thing weighs? Yeah. No, that's pretty heavy. 
this is something that's going to be used on a temporary basis. You don't want to leave your firearm in your vehicle 24 seven. Don't recommend it, even though it's probably going to be very difficult to remove this from your vehicle. And by the time they get inside and set your alarm off, it's going to draw so much attention. They're not going to be able to um, defeat this lock or remove this from your vehicle. So, wow, made in the U.S. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's heavy. Gun safe, guys. So they also make magnets for these, so you can just have your gun stuck right to the side here so you can get it easy access. Actually, if you lay it like that, people can't even see that. And not, right. that, not that they can get in there anyway, but check that out. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I can't wait to install this in the beast. If you had to secure your weapon, this is what you want to secure it in. You don't want to throw it underneath the seat of your car because that's easy access for anyone that breaks in your vehicle. And they're, trust me, they're walking off with your weapon. They're not going to be able to get this thing out <laughs> without setting off a lot of commotion, a lot of alarms. And by the time, I mean, this thing weighs, this thing weighs a good amount of weight. It's strong. Look at the thickness of that steel. I, 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 I'm telling you guys, <laughs> trust me, this thing's heavy. It's definitely heavy duty. You can put your wallet in here, babe. You know how you're always leaving your wallet and your purse in your car? Yeah. You know, you can put your wallet in here. That's sweet. The owner is pro law enforcement for my law enforcement subscribers and military too as well. Check this out, Head. There's a light that goes inside. Check that out. Oh, uh, that, that's pretty cool. That goes inside. And he did send me the magnets. These magnets are cool. They actually stick right to the side of your gun. And then you can mount this. Look at that. Oh, wow. Just look at it. You can mount this inside. Can you put the light up in there so I can see it a little bit better? <laughs> nice. That is so cool. That's pretty cool. I want one in my car just for my purse. <laughs> She's gonna be stealing the truck, guys. <laughs> box locked. I can um, put it in my locker down box. <laughs> That's so cool. That was really cool of him. I he, I asked him if he was going to send me these. He said he has a limited amount of these left, and he he sent them to me. So that's awesome. You can fit two guns in here with that. So your Glock 43 will fit in here with my 27. Uh -huh. You guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> <laughs> if you did, give us that thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time, please smash that subscribe button. And as always, check out the description below. <laughs> Check out the description below. <laughs> Check out the description <laughs> below. There's always important information in there. And who are you in charge of? You. No. And I wear the chevrons at home. No, she don't. Yes, I do. No, no, no. Sergeant Petty. What are you running now? I am running our apparel collection over at Rambis Projects. Oh my lord. I was going to say Rambis products but it's not <laughs> so i am currently um i am currently heading <laughs> i'm currently check out our website rampeaceprojects.com okay <laughs> oh my god we'll see you on the next upload love you love you <laughs> love you <laughs>